Hello and welcome back to Hello Charlotte. This is part two of the Hello Charlotte trilogy developed by Etheren. And uh, you know, if you didn't know, there's an episode one as well. So if you didn't watch that yet, I encourage you to do so. But uh, this continues the Hello Charlotte series. And uh, as far as I know, you know, it's a, it's the, the, the story and the themes are a little bit different, but the characters are the same. And I guess we'll see what that's about. Um, and I guess, again, I'll just say the content warning is that uh, there's a bunch of gore and violence, as it turns out. You know, I didn't I forgot to say it in the very beginning for episode one. But anyway, let's begin. Inside a dream, I laugh and the world laughs with me. Inside a dream, I forget, and the world forgets with me. Inside a dream, I am the world. Hello, world. Well, that's that's the first sentence in every like every programmer learns that full like first sentence where you code something. You know, hello, world. Anyway, hello, Charlotte. Ethan presents hello, Charlotte, episode two, requiem, eternum deo. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. I don't know what it, what it even means. I assume it's Latin. As the seasons die one by one, the slumbering gods' heavy eyelids will open once again. A choir of voices echoes in a fog-filled box of a mind. Okay. I must be dreaming. Since the oracle became a part of me, my dreams always take place in here. A pitch-black land where time does not exist. For these three years, I have slept next to them in deafening silence. This time it's different. The oracle is awake. It's a bunch of eyes and like uh, organs and fingers and hands. I see. Anyway. Good morning, Seth. Today we will get up, go to school, capital S, and go back to sleep again. Please take care of me. Mm hmm. Eh? Mm -hmm. What a what a assault to the ears. <coughs> and now she's coughing up uh, uh dark liquids. Is it morning already? Meow, says the maggot cat. Meow. I feel a paw poke my face. Just a few more minutes. Meow. It sounded almost reprimanding. Mag cat nuzzles against my cheek. Right. You must be hungry. Just wait a bit. More coughing. <laughs> uh, I look at my hand. It's covered in something dark. It's not blood. Weird. Meow. It's nothing. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Sprites. Umbrella Man was right. Over these years, my health really did become worse. We still have a bit of time before school, Seth. Let's feed Mad Cat and greet everyone on our way. New task. Got a bunch of tasks. Wow, go to school as well. Just just a normal day of going to school. That's all. Charlotte. Oh, she looks different on the menu. In the dialogue boxes, though, she definitely looks different. She has like a nose. Or something. Did she have a nose before? Probably. I don't know. For some reason, it's just more uh, apparent to me that she has a nose. You know, it's weird. Understanding maggots. Also, she has that thing, that meme about like conspiracy theories. I don't know. True realm research. Hmm. It all goes back to Illuminati. Eden, the god delusion, joyous wisdom, clothes, hairpins, microchips, cockroaches. One of these items is not like the others. Uh, the microchips, <laughs> because we saw cockroaches uh, in the last game, and they're just you know sentient beings, really. There's a drawing inside. Sure, look at it. Happy birthday. Okay, it's Charlotte, I assume. With another character. And also a bunch of bugs and flowers over, you know, surrounding them. Good, it's just normal. Uh, it's a drawing of me and Henri. Well, who is this? Seth, don't tell me you don't remember. It's my friend, Henrietta. She always tells me to call her Henri, though. She drew this picture for my birthday. So nice of her, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. The kingdom of God is within you. I mean, 
from the last game, it, it, that's kind of true. It is in Charlotte. Do you know? Literally a god. All these boxes. Welcome to Warp Omnicube. To use the Warp Omnicube, activate a warp point at the place you wish to warp to. Hmm. Fast travel. Data Omnicube. Okay, anything new here? Don't turn off your screen. Don't disturb the neighbors. Do not speak of house tenants. Hmm. Was that a rule before? I don't remember. Doors. Be polite to the doors of a puppeteer symbol. So I always got I got confused about that in the first game. But I guess, yeah, the puppeteer symbol is just a symbol we always see. In fact, it's the icon of the game. Really, it's kind of like a heart shape. Kind of like a Tetris piece, but anyway. Uh, bring elevator doors a cool sticker. Uh, and only users with X in their names have access to doors of a puppeteer symbol. That's also something I got confused about as well. Because I thought X as in... For some reason, I thought X literally like an X symbol. But no, like literally the, the letter X in their name. So that's why, for example, Felix from the last game was able to open the doors. He, his name had X in it. It's, it's very nonsensical, but I guess that's just how it works. Charlotte can't open the doors only because it doesn't have X in her name. But how does it work? Can you just change your name in that case? Just change your name. Easy. I don't know. Omnicubes. Short for Omnipotent Cubes. They're multitask devices. Yeah. Read this before. Don't put liquid soap in them. You're supposed to eat the liquid soap instead. That's how it works, right? List of registered first floor tenants. Charlotte Wilshire. Felix Honeker. Honeker? Henry Huxley. Bennett. Bennett doesn't have a last name. Aiden. Also doesn't have a last name. Or Aiden. I keep saying Aiden or Aiden. I always mix it up. Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. I, I, I told myself that I would stick with one pronunciation, but I always say the other one. Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. And uh, a Mad Cat. Yeah, you know, some of them just yeah, some of them don't have last names. And here's teleport cube. You know, we can teleport within our house, but that's not necessarily. We can just walk. You know, the power of walking. It's amazing. Nothing else. Just, it's just that. All right. And we can explore the house real quick. Hmm. Felix's lab? Well, this wasn't here before, I feel like. He just has a lab here now. The snake who ate its tail. That's the Ouroboros. And player synthesizer. Hmm. Felix got this plan for his birthday. He seems to like it more than any being in existence. It's called the Venus flytrap. Venus for short. Okay. Sometimes it feels like this lab moves on its own. It makes you wonder if it's alive. It's like a spider. Chemicals are bubbling inside the flasks. One flew over the cow's nest. <laughs> cow's nest. Well, isn't that uh, one flew over the cuckoo's nest? Is that what, uh, what I actually read that book. Anyway, simulacras, a simulation, and flatland. Mm, flatland. The land is flat. I thought it was round. Here's Felix with his new art. Everyone's very... I don't know. It's nostrils, I guess. You know, they do the thing. The, the art style changed a little bit. They have nostrils. That I think that's what it is. I don't think before they had nostrils. Or... I don't remember now. Anyway. Whoa, what's with that face? You look awful. Complimenting me this early in the morning. Whatever. So cold. By the way, was there a kitchen before? Must be the house's structure changing again. Try the second door on the right. Okay, is that how it works? It's just... The house is, just does that, I guess. Listen, you'll be late to school. Also, take these. Use them after socializing. You'll die on the spot later. Oh, anxiety pills. Good. You, I will literally die. I will literally die if I talk too much. Is that how it works? Anxiety pills. Feed the cat. Greet everyone and go to school. Book of truth. What's, anything new here? Oh, this looks different. Puppets. Yeah, it's implied that Charlotte's a puppet. And everything. I mean, it's not really implied. It's like explicitly stated, really. Purpose is to err from the false ram. Has a short lifespan. They mentioned that multiple times. I wasn't sure, actually. When the Umbrella Man said that Charlotte has a short lifespan, I wasn't sure he, if he meant, like, as a human. <laughs> you know, relatively or whatever. Because, you know, whenever there's, like, supernatural beings compared to humans, the, 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 the otherworldly beings always have, like, way way longer lifespans than, you know, humans. But uh, maybe Charlotte is, like, just has a short lifespan compared to other humans as well. Just as a puppet, I don't know. She spends uh, half her life sleeping. 
Is that true in real life? I guess so. No free will, despite denying it, and likes cats to a ridiculous degree. And there's their aliens. The purpose is unknown, they're also from the false realm. Disguised as humans, always busy. High murderous intent? What? <laughs> I didn't... Hmm. I didn't... We didn't see much of that in the last game. They didn't try to kill us. Uh. And they also eat soap. Um... But the omnivores? Okay. I mean, you do see them eat soap a lot. Here's the puppeteers. They control, and from True Rem. And, you know, the one controlling Charlotte is Seth. And there's the observers. They are to observe. They're also from the True Rem. World government members do not interfere with natural flora events unless ordered to. Oh, Umbrella Man. Well, does he... Does he um, intrude in the natural order of events? He often does show up, you know, talk to Charlotte and stuff. And here's Freya and Freya, the Pythias. Oh yeah, another like thing that I wasn't really sure of. But I guess the, the, the Oracle and the Pythias are two different beings. And the last game, we saw a lot of like Pythias, you know, in their own dimensions, I guess. Cut off from the Oracle, I assume. I guess that's what it is. And the Freys are the... Or masculine, I guess, afraid or the feminine ones, I guess. Two genders. Mm. Um, they're, they are a type uh, four, was it? Roman numerals. Type four civilization. Ability to manipulate time and space. Okay. So that's why when we change the channel, maybe that's why they reverse time. That one time, you know, remember in the library? They're dangerous and every race perceives them differently. Okay. Hmm. And here's the real oracle, which is the thing that... I guess got absorbed into Charlotte. Looks like a bunch of organs. The purpose is... Eh, they have a godlike ex existence. And uh, one body vessel cannot obtain an oracle in full health. Hmm. I mean, that's why they existed in multiple Pythias, right? At least until they rejected the oracle. And everything. At least that's what we've learned. And here's Omnicubes. Omnipotent. Omnivorous. And the population is greater than those of humans. They have very high IQ. Mm. Here's mad cats. Cute as cats. Scary as maggots. Love food and very loud. Good. Important notes. Very important. Deep lore. Well, here's a TV room. We don't, I, don't, I don't have good memories of the TV room considering what happened last time. Anyway. I have to remember my journey to the TV world. Watch TV? Just for a bit. Just a quick look then, we have to hurry. Well, today, um, Panopticon TV, truth about eco-food revealed. Who would have known the green labels were put on packages only to raise their price? Watch it at 7pm to find out more. Oh. What else? With brand new scientifically testified antibiotic technology, you don't have to store our milk products in the fridge. Without any life forms in your yogurt, it will never spoil. Hmm. Artificial yogurt. Best before, best forever. Good. You know, technically those expiration dates are not very accurate, you know? They're not very, um... I guess, uh, what's the word? They're not very, uh, enforced, I guess, by a particular organization or anything. You think they would be, but no. Best before doesn't really mean, like, the food expires right before the... Or right after the best before date. It's just best before as in it's most fresh, you know? When you buy it and everything. Anyway. Life going too fast, tired of the rush, we've got you covered. For just $9.99, one minute will last twice as long. Slow as oh, just one pill to savor the moment. Oh. Instant slow motion. And the static just goes psh. And Bennett's favorite show is supposed to be running soon. More, uh, more soap operas? Hmm. I mean, is, is that why they like soap? You know, like literally soap and also soap operas? Uh, anything to do with soap, I guess. What's over here? There's a bathroom. Was there a bathroom last time? I don't know. A toilet. A toilet paper. That smells like apple pie. It's almost scary how far humanity has progressive inventions. Hmm. Scented toilet paper. Well, uh, do they exist, actually? I, I assume they could exist. I never use scented toilet paper in my life, however. Uh, there's only a monthly supply of liquid soap inside. Take some? Sure. I got soap. It's blueberry flavored. Probably when you eat it, though, it's not very blue. Not blueberry flavored. Just tastes like soap. 
There's an acidic smell coming from the plastic bag in the bathtub. I better not touch it. Hmm, a plastic bag? Acidic bathtub? Are they trying to dis dissolve a body or something? I don't know. Got a soap bottle, though. The only thing we can do with the soap bottle last time was just eat it. More soap. Banana flavored. More soap. Mulberry flavor. Seth, I think there's a limit to the soap bottles we can take. Don't be greedy. More. 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 Come on. Oh, man. I guess I'll just keep the soap bottle. I assume we eat it. She'll just be like, bleh. It's bitter. Mac food for the Mac cat. At last, there isn't anything particularly edible in the fridge. Mm. A meaty smell coming from the oven. Aiden says that he burns mischievous children and on Christmas. Um, I don't think he's lying, if you consider this game. And it's... And it's, uh... Themes, I guess. A kitchen sink in the trash bin beneath it. It's empty. The cabinets are full of glass of bottles. They smell of lavender soap. Okay. Well, I can feed the mad cat, I guess. But hold on, I want to explore some more. Here's the library, Anarchist Cookbook, and such and such. I already read that in the first game. Education Program Information Booklet. Oh, okay. They mentioned it uh, again and again, actually, the education program. Yeah, I assume it's school, I guess, quote-unquote. Well, tip number one, socialize every day. Socialization is a core element of the education program. Tip number two, report any suspicious activity on school grounds. Tip number three, don't feed stray animals on school grounds. Stay safe and ensure the safety of your fellow students. Mm -hmm. The system exposed a hidden anarchy in order. Yeah. Science Fiction, Almanac, 26 editions. Well, last time it was 25th. A Huxley moved most of his books to the basement. Now it's mostly magazines on this shelf. If I leave, crash into your car, I kiss your cat. <laughs> Indecent web browser history. I don't know. Mother's shelf is growing bigger, isn't it? We haven't met Mother. I guess these are supposed to be romance novels or something. You know, like, what is it? Fifty Shades of Grey? Was, I don't know. was that like a book that was like memed into popularity? Or was that the other way around? You know, it was so popular it became a meme. Anyway. I'll never trust a salesman, cold-hearted janitor, and alpha physicist. I didn't know if it was possible somehow these romance book titles has changed for the worse. The year I had a pay rise and embraced over time in you. Yeah, it's just work, 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 and keep working until you die. Some papers are lying on the table. Look at it, sure. It's Huxley's handwriting. An essay regarding the educational program, translated human speak. I find the soci uh, socialization system rather pointless, thus unnecessary for an individual. I sincerely believe that it is up to the student whether to socialize or not. With our reanimation technology, we can bring back to life both dead and hollow people alike. Hmm. Is that just... Is that what you can just do? You can just revive people? Even if they don't express sentient behavior afterwards? Oh, okay. If you do, if you do that, they become zombies. That's just, that's just zombies, Huxley. Uh, this one's broken for a while. Oh, uh, this one doesn't like company. <laughs> okay. Mom uh, bought plants to liven up the room, but hardly anyone looks after them. Plants rarely live longer than a year at our house. It's kind of sad to throw them out. Hmm. Alright. I'm over here. Hello? Morning! In high spirits like usual. Good morning, Bennett. Am I explaining why my bathtub is full of ac acid? Just asking. Ooh. Bennett flees the scene. Should we chase after him? Nah, let's leave the scolding to Aid, uh, Aiden. A Neaf Freak's theory can drag even Bennett out of extreme procrastination. Okay. Also, save point? Yeah, save point. It's weird that we have a save point, but we already can already save in the menu. I mean, it was like a thing in the in the first game. Because the, the menu saving was disabled, so maybe later on it's going to be the same thing. Okay, left is to the basement and right to the school. Okay. Well... Uh, well, I mean, let's just let's check the basement too. Let's see. Oh, the basement is kind of confusing. Um, I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, I'll save. Huh? Oh, here's Aiden. Okay. Good morning, Aiden. 
Good morning to you as well, dear girl. I hope you haven't forgotten that we have a piano lesson this evening. Of course not. It will be a pity if you miss your practice. I will be waiting for you in the piano room. Dresses are a perfectly symmetrical position on both sides. Lots, lots, lots and lots of dresses. Puppeteer symbol. What's behind here? Piano room. We'll come back here later. Okay, I guess we'll do piano lessons later. Uh, what's over here? Oh, access denied. Doors of Puppeteer Show can open only those of an X in their names. Huxley reprogrammed this one to let his crew workers through. So Florence or the others might be here. Hmm, Florence? Who's Florence? I don't remember. Oh yes, dissection room. Bunch of blood. This one has been operated for a few weeks. Poor thing. Selector. Inside are a bunch of detached limbs. Good. Still sleepwalking after 35 years. Everything I know about humans I learned from my lawnmower. Hmm. Baldwin. A passion for scalpels. Oh, didn't we have a scalpel in a jar? Oh, here you go. We can uh, look at a log. The fog. Read. Back in the days, I used to be the top of my class. I love being right, answering correctly. I love doing things better than everyone else. Mother always said that I inherited a my hard-working mindset from my father. A grind set, you could say. No, anyway, I don't know. I just recently learned of something about like a Sigma grind set. I don't know. I don't even know what it means. I just think it's funny because I don't know. Grind set just sounds dumb. Anyway, I was happy. I wasn't. Blah, 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 blah. Fragment deleted. It's just that one day my classmates decided that blah, 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 fragment deleted, fragment deleted, fragment deleted. Then one day the fog appeared. With each passing day, I found my head becoming filled with it until I couldn't think clearly anymore. Hmm. I've become clumsy, absent-minded, indecisive. Everything I blagged to be. I myself for it. One day I realized that the fog wasn't just in my head anymore. It was all around me, surrounding me, consuming me, shielding me. Hmm. What a strange log. What's that, by the way? Is that... Maybe that's just blood. You know, you see my cursor there? It just looks weird, you know? Like, it's not supposed to be there. Anyway. Warning! Mutant spider is inside. Reads the label. Still breathing. Okay. And this specimen looks like living bowels of eyes. I briefly wonder if it has a vertebrae inside. Hmm. Reusing old corpse pouches. Eating light bulbs is wrong. Also, introducing cannibalism. Oh, yes, of course. And by the way, head fog. I mean, isn't that like a symptom, actually? It's like a very general symptom, I guess. I guess is, the idea is that you, you feel like, uh... I mean, that was mentioned, right? It was clumsy, you, you just feel like absent-minded. Stuff like that. It's a very ambiguous symptom, though. Which could mean many things. It could just mean you're tired. Or it could mean you have... Um, I don't know, a super deadly disease. I don't know. That's, well, that's what WebMD tells me anyway. Well, Huxley is operating on a patient. Well, Huxley's busy. He's also not wearing his, uh, yeah, his mask. That's why he looks so weird to me. Yeah, he's not wearing his mask. Last time he was wearing his mask. He's bringing the bone pieces together with super glue. Yes. Dr. Huxley. Well, how are you, little Charlotte? Oh, come to think of it, you're not so little anymore. Okay, the, my voice that I gave to Huxley doesn't fit his face anymore. He looks like a bee shonen. I was expecting him to look more like a nerd, basically. I gave him like a nerd voice. Like this, this is my nerd voice. Nasally nerd voice. But actually, he just looks like a... I don't know, typical... Like, uh, handsome anime boy. Or really, anime man, really, from like, uh... I don't know, a Tomei game. Or whatever. To think human children grow so fast, Helix hasn't grown an inch in these in these years. But look at you! I'm 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 gonna give him the voice anyway. <laughs> I don't care. Some things just don't change, do they? <laughs> Doctor Huxley, yes. How is he doing? Ah, uh, Felix, haven't you seen upstairs? I thought you two got along rather well. Since my health started getting worse, we haven't spoken much. It's as if he's avoiding me. Uh, sorry, I wasn't. I was thinking out loud. It's okay. Come for advice whenever you feel like it. Uh, no, whenever would be a bad idea, as I'm a busy man. Hmm. How about making an appointment in advance then? Thank you, Doctor Huxley. 
I appreciate the sentiment, but you really don't have to. I sincerely hope you two make up. Especially since my cute nephew hasn't got anyone his age to talk to, just like Bennett. Uh, am I talking too much? You should hurry to school. Here, have a sticker. I got a sticker. Well. He's busy dissecting corpses. If we need anything, you can ask Felix. Even if he kills us for it. Hmm. Literally? I think he will literally kill us for it. Sticker. It's triangular. Therefore, very cool. I place it on my bag. I'm very cool. Okay, good. Uh, anything else? Yeah, that's good. I also didn't go in here yet, the purple door. I don't know, the purple door looks suspicious, so that's why I didn't go in it yet. Violent room. Hmm. Is it the violent room, or is it the violet room? Maybe there's a typo, you know? <laughs> yeah. Any of those logs, by the way? I forgot that you can, like, yeah, can you go over here? No? I tried, yeah, I tried interacting with this before, it doesn't work, though. Maybe the dresses are blocking it. But sometimes you can, like, uh, interact with the screens of the puppeteer symbol. And you read those logs, you know? Alright, so what are the tasks? Since I've already explored everywhere, let's feed the cat. I assume you put it in the bowl, right? Today's special meal is made of failed expectations and lost hope for humanity. You know, typical... Typical day. Mad cat purrs of enjoyment. That's a good cat. The bowl is half empty or half full. It depends if you're optimistic or pessimistic. Mm. Alright, anything else? I mean, there's more things. We can go to school. Did we greet everyone, though? I can't remember if we greeted everyone. I feel like we did, but... What would of you be late, don't you understand? There's a door that won't open for me. There's no X in Charlotte. Could I ask Huxley for it? He's busy. I'm busy too. Ah, fine, lead the way. Yay. Good. Actually, any, any dialogue of this? Okay, I was hoping he'll say something about Venus or whatever. It's his plant after all. Hmm. Any new interactions now that we have Felix in the party? No, it doesn't... Mm, I don't know, I'm not sure. We can visit a TV room. Anything to say about the TV room, Felix? I'm just... Our channel isn't working. Interesting. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. Alright, where are we going? Which was all the way again? Over here, was it? Yeah, over here, and then... Left is basement? Over here. You open that door... How about this door? I don't know. Okay, we'll open this door then. Alright, there's the morgue room. I assume it has a bunch of corpses. Uh, hi, Florence. All right, on time. Can you hold some of this useless junk for me? Okay, so I guess this is Florence, another one of those hazmat suit people. I think I stole too many light bulbs, so Dr. Huxley might start suspecting me. Uh, sure, I can help. Here you go. Pepper spray, pepper spray, and pepper spray. Hmm. Acquire pepper spray. Thanks for your cooperation. Wait. Were we supposed to give me pepper spray or was it giving me light bulbs? I don't know. Remember, kids, it's illegal to still have one. I don't see any reason to use it. Okay, I guess that's it. Nothing else, I assume? Can I return to work now? Sure, thank you. Alright. Is that all my tasks? Greet everyone. I still feel like I haven't greeted everyone. Like, the, the thing isn't, like, done. Or maybe you have to greet everyone at school, you know? Maybe that's, like, part of it as well. Because I was thinking I was greeting everybody in the house. But... I think that's fine. We have pepper spray, though. Maybe that's useful. Let's save the game. Oh, Felix is not here anymore. I can't talk to him again. Oh well. You think that's good for now? I think we can finally leave the house. Let's go. Now then, onwards to school, Seth. Oh yeah, school. In this weird... interdimensional... hallway. No disturbing the neighbors. 
do we need is the last one, I guess. All right. And any secret Easter eggs? So we could like go out of bounds or something? No? Okay. I guess this is the elevator. What a nice sticker you have here. Where are we going, dear friend? Okay, I guess we can't use the elevator until we get the sticker. Well, uh, first, second, or third? Which floor is it? I don't know. You're on the first floor? Well, the first floor is already here. We can go on the second floor. Got it, buddy. Oh. Hmm. What was the uh, third floor? Hold on, I want to check real quick. Uh, third floor has restricted access. Sorry. Okay, so you can't go to the third floor anyway. All right. Let's go back to the second floor. Back over here. Bunch of people walking. Very small, it seems. Such a small sprite. All right. Mm hmm. Hmm. Uh, I assume that's a back alley where someone's being beaten up. Let's check what it is. Hmm. This guy. Let's beat some sense into this freak. A few punches will make him respect the elders, eh? Uh, this looks bad. Can we help somehow, Seth? It's too dangerous. So we just leave? I'll look into it. If only we had something to use. Alright. Well, we have pepper spray, so... Hiya! Alright, we have pepper spray with us. <laughs> so who's filthy now? Feel like apologizing yet? <laughs> I have nothing to apologize for. Is that so? Why don't we cut out that tug of his if we have nothing to say? Would it be too cruel to ruin such a pretty face? Then why don't we do something more fun? As I step, uh, as I take a step closer, one of the students notices me. And who are you? I'm sorry to interrupt, but... <laughs> Just, I guess we're using the pepper spray. Haven't your parents taught you? Violence is no good. Ah! My eyes! My three eyes! My eyes! My four eyes! Get it off! Run, quick. I reach out for the boy's wrist. He slaps it away. I didn't mean to... Later about that, run. No hand-holding. Hand-holding is loot. Don't you know? Okay. We have this guy in our party. His name is C. I see. Yellow eyes, by the way. Kind of reminds me of, uh... The Executor. You know, the one that, like, possessed Charlotte the one time. Her eyes also turned yellow. I don't know what that means. Anyway, to school. Hiya. Take a leap? Sure. Okay, and we fall into a ball pit. Of course, this makes total sense. Hey, we got away. <sighs> Are you okay? This body's too fragile. Throat hurts. Yeah, okay, he's just, this is just a vessel. The boy pants heavily, barely standing. He's completely out of breath. Seems like P.E.'s not your best subject. You're so small. How do you distract them? Oh, thanks to pepper spray. The power of pepper spray. I wave the thumb-sized bottle before his eyes. He barely looks up. Flora says box cutters and pipes are fine and all, but they're not as effective as a, in a big fight. I see. What do you do to them anyway? As I have said, nothing. They're contaminated. I only commented on that. So that's why the filth deal was about. More importantly, wouldn't these people target you? Why would they? Eh? There's nothing to worry about. Everybody at school loves me. Moreover, I'll always have Seth on my side. What's important right now is that I help a fellow schoolmate. Schoolmate? It's our school's uniform you're wearing, aren't you? Is it? Nah, nah, let's hurry. Let's stop talking to the ex executor possessing this boy's body. Let's just go. Got it, got it. Sorry, Seth gets grumpy when we're late to class. I can show you the way to the infirmary. Find the infirmary and find class. You must find class. Also, RPG battle, initializing socialization with anxious student. All right, so socialization just means RPG battles. That's all it means. Amazing. Skills. Smile. Discuss. Anxiety pills. Reassure. Hmm. Talk. You must talk them down. Ah, they died. We killed them with words. I can't believe they died. Uh, no XP though. What's the point? <laughs> You're not doing XP. No XP in gold? Anyway. Okay. 
a, a boy with no face. I'm so blessed to catch a glimpse of our princess in the morning. Princess. Garden. Seth, we need to take him to the, the infirmary. Infirmary. I can't say that word. Infirmary? Infirmary? And the girl with no face as well. Dude, I guess no faces. Just thing here. The poster says pets not allowed, but you know, I've seen stray maggot cats in the garden. S Seth, why don't we check out if it's true later? Uh, I don't know about that. She's on my here. Infirm... Infirmary. Infirmary? Infirmary. Why can't I say that word? I don't know. I feel like I'm saying it wrong. Infirmary? Anyway. Here it is. The nurse here is kind, so don't worry. I see. Thank you. The boy disappears behind the door. Alright. There he goes. Ah! Battle! Hiya! Take that! Oh, and then she uses the anxiety pills. Oh yeah? Your anxiety pills won't last forever. Don't you know? If you take it long term, you'll, you'll, you'll have a lot of bunch of side effects or something. I don't know. I've actually never taken anxiety pills. But I've, I've looked them up, you know, it's like, mm, what is it? I mean, it sounds great, you know, you just eat some pills, you don't feel anxiety anymore, but like, I don't know. It's just a lot of side effects, you know, and apparently you're not supposed to use it too much, right, is the idea. I don't know, I'm just afraid that you get addicted to it, I feel like, I don't know. And side effects include anxiety. Hello, Kako, by the way. Just playing uh, the sequel to the first part of the Hello Charlotte series. I played the first part uh, yesterday. Now I'm playing the second part. It's interesting. I mean, it didn't. Uh, the first part didn't have RPG battles, you know. But I guess it's just random battles though. Now, um, hmm. Does my health, uh, I will, I guess we'll see. I don't see my health, though, so I don't know if the health is restored after a battle. It would be nice. How wonderful day, isn't it? Uh, hmm. Is that class? Oh, hold on, let me save. Uh, principal room, okay. Intruder detected! Initialing evaporation process! Ah! Okay, we just die. That's also another thing about this uh, game series, by the way. It loves to kill you. Randomly. Isn't that fun? Good thing I saved. Anyway. Oh, what's this room? Second floor? Hmm. Can I go over here? Oh. Okay, nothing over there. Alright, let's go second floor then. I'm just beating up people with anxiety. Well, actually, we're not beating them up. We're talking to them, you know? It's a socialization thing or whatever. They keep mentioning it. Socialization in all caps. I don't remember this place. My class should be among these doors. Hmm. Class A1. What's that weird angel thing? I don't know. Class A2. Oh, is this, is this our class? We went in anyway. Hello? I'm sorry, I'm a bit lost here. Have you seen class A1 somewhere here? Uh, why yes. The very first door leads to A1. But you can't get there without a pass. And where can I get it? My friend from D3 had one. Go ask him. Okay. I guess these are the students on the desks. Any teachers? You don't look like a teacher. You look like a, another student. Really? A3. Lesson in progress. Access denied. Vaporization in process. Access denied. Oh, okay. Well, B, A, can I go a different floor? No, okay, that's it. All right, so that this is the class we need to go into, but we need a pass, so I guess we just explore all the other rooms first. Anime teachers. Oh, when, when I think of teachers in anime, though, they are <laughs> older than the, than the students, but anyway. If only I could be of help. Hmm. Okay. No one else wants to talk, I guess. They're too busy. Being students. Quarantine access denied. Currently un unavailable. Under construction. Currently held in second dimension. Of course. 
Uphone and Fbook users only. Actually, it's Meta now. They changed their name to Meta or something. Uh, I don't know, anyway. Well, that's actually not true. Actually, they only changed the parent company, I guess. Because Facebook, the company, owns multiple things, including the website Facebook. But they didn't change the Facebook name. They only changed their, like, company name, I guess. Also, cool kids only. I guess we're not cool. Access denied. And also, Gone with the Wind. Is that like a book? Or is it a movie? I'm not sure. Anyway. Oh, here's the D hallway. D1. The student's head explodes into a million pieces. His brains are scattered all around the floor. Hmm. Well, there were much brains to begin with. Yeah, so there wasn't much of a mess. He didn't have any brains anyway. Don't worry about it. I can't talk to anyone else. <laughs> I guess there's nothing here. Just exploding brains. That's all. Which reminds me, because I thought I died. You know, it's like I interacted with the student and I died or something. So I better save just in case. Ah, uh, there's no D in your name. Access denied. I assume this is D three, so we need to go. Let's check all the other rooms though. Organ harvesting in progress. Yep. Mm -hmm. Kept in isolation until summer. I'm going here too. What's over here? A pass to A one. I don't have one. Yeah, this is, isn't D three. This is. D, like, I don't know, 7 or something. What's over here? Let me tell you a secret. If you open the very first door with white door pass, it'll get you to A1. Well, that's not much of a secret, actually. I was actually told that by the other student, and... And the student head explodes into a million pieces. Is that just a thing? That's just a thing that happens, I guess. It just happens a lot. You know? Hmm. Any more doors? Hold on. Okay, let's let's check over here first then. Cause this is well, uh, this is what the game told us to go to. D three. A pass? I'm so sorry. I already gave it to the girl from F four. You definitely should go there. All right, F four. All right. A big old like uh. Fetch quests, I guess. No entry for lunatics. I guess we're a lunatic. Head against explode? Yep, I knew it. And you explode again. I gotta stop exploding everywhere. It's gonna make a mess. Talks a little above normal. And shroom soup in preparation. Gonna make that shroom soup. I assume this is F4. Hi. Why did you come sooner? I've already lost my pass in a bet. How do you go to C2 and beg for it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Gonna go back to C2. Good. Backtracking. Infestive head crabs. I guess. You know. Half-life reference. Uh, in this class, we appreciate crocs. Wow, oh my god. Sounds like hell. And also arrow 404. Alright. What was that, C2? About that pass, I owe ya. Uh, C2. Oh, so I think it's over here. Down here. The developer, by the way, is a big troll, <laughs> you know? They they kill you just randomly and also just makes you do these quests, I guess. You go back and forth. You want to pass? If you take my trash, I'll give it to you. Ah, uh, sure. Really? Yeah. Here you go. Acquired trash. Mm. A few juice boxes and candy packages. I searched a plastic bag. I found the white door pass. I did it. What else do you need? I gave you the pass already. Okay. And I guess I throw the trash somewhere else. All right, there you go. At least there wasn't any uh, socialization I need to do, <laughs> you know? Walking around this area. I'm kind of annoying because it's a big area. I imagine later on, though, it's going to be a thing where it's going to be like a big, big area where you got to go through a bunch of random battles. That's going to suck. I just know it's going to happen. It's always hap it's always, it always happens, you know, when a developer introduces random battles. They got to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so like pad out the game life. But anyway, I use the wide door pass. Finally, my head is spinning after all this running. I go to my place. So it has my shoulder. Psst. Henri, what took you so long? I thought we were going to check homework before class. My bad. I ran into some trouble on my way here. Oh really? Wiltshire, Warhol, no talking in class, please. 
Wiltshire? Oh, Wiltshire, I believe, is the last name for Charlotte. I guess Warhol is uh, Henri's last name. Also, the teacher has no head, by the way. <laughs> Henri loudly clicks her tongue like this. Or, yeah, like this. <laughs> Down here. We're so, we're so sorry, teacher. You apologize, too. I'm sorry. All right. Attention, everyone. We have a new student in our class. Please introduce yourself. Hello. There's no name that can define me, but you can refer to me as C. I am the god of this world. Ah, yes, of course. The class explodes with laughter. Do not be afraid. I won't be staying here for long. Uh, what is he saying? This is backwards. Take your seat, uh, Mr. Whoa. What's that say? Whoa. I, I assume it's, it's like his name. He actually didn't have a name, but it, it, maybe he does. And somehow that's messing the dialogue. Ward, uh, Wordsworth? 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 Words, Wordsworth? Anyway. Whatever. The class starts. I try to focus on the teacher's speech. Ahem. Today our topic is the trial and soul cubes. As you all know, since you've turned 15, okay, I guess they're all 15, you're now able to see your soul cubes. Soul cubes store your soul data as the name implies. It's speculated that soul cubes are just smaller omni cubes, which raise a controversy among our scientists. If soul cubes are omni cubes, then are we just meat armor they control? I'm sure you've heard this kind of news. Just like any data storage, soul cubes can become corrupted. That's where the trial comes in. The trials exist for helping the defective. Their cues will be formatted and debugged. Mm -hmm. Our school is proud to certify that it's usually one person a year, but sometimes it's two. As you all know, the annual 75th trial will be held quite soon, which all of you will attend for the first time. Who can explain the purpose of the trial? It's for correcting the defective. Right. The trial exists for the sole purpose of providing help to our students. A public vote among students and teachers alike will be held to determine a defective student among us. That's very sus. Uh, tell me, who has a defective cube? Anybody? Remember, it's someone who'll amount to nothing if not provided help. Quote unquote. Now class, how do we avoid cube corruption? We go to school. We abide the rules. We socialize. Very good. And also, don't be an imposter, I guess. Anyway. Uh, oh, and what's this? Now, let's... I don't know. It's hard to read backwards. L now, let's... Proceed with the lesson. Okay. And it's lunch break. Just like, snap through the lesson real quick. I look at Henri. We always eat together, after all. She looks like she's about to cry. Did something happen? Oh no. I forgot my wallet. Even though I wanted to buy us a meal today, it was so worthless. Don't say that. I'll buy us something. Really? You do that for someone like me? You're not a fault, Henri. It happens to everyone. Hey, I'll be waiting on the rooftop. As all anime characters do. They just never lock the door to the roof and we all just eat there for some reason. Yep, see you later. Let's go, Seth. Let's buy some apples and activate the war point while we're at it, shall we? Only apples? I don't really feel like eating much today, sorry. Actually, I feel like I'll throw up at any moment. Oh, to the canteen. Also, activate war point. Just, just, it's just a thing we do, I guess. Anything else to say, teacher? No. Nope. Oh. Initialing socialization with beheaded student. Good. I only have six... Socialization, though. Can I use the power of anxiety pills? Discuss. What if I smile? I smile. No effect, Nanny. No, no social damage. Good. Uh, I guess I gotta take my anxiety pills. I want to save my anxiety pills, though. But I guess I'll take them. I don't want to die. Only three. That's so little. You must have really good roofs in Japan. I mean, I don't know. As far as I know, you know, roofs... 
actually like specifically in japan in real life they're actually not like not meant for the students to go on you know because like it's dangerous right you can like fall off oh i he gave me his bowels and i recovered my anxiety good amazing can I discuss something school related? No effect. All these skills never do anything to me. Also, he just keeps he keeps like recovering my my uh my uh, my my thing, I guess. Be compassionate. I'll be be I'll be compassionate instead. No. Oh. Okay, he just recovers, but like, what does that mean? I'm not sure. Because if I if I heal him, then it just never. Nothing ever happens, right? I'll never, I'll never win, I guess. Is I don't know, or maybe it's the idea. I mean, this is all just satire, I guess, right? It's really surreal satire. Is it like because we try to be social, the other person feels too anxious, and so therefore, if they're the one that feels anxious, we win or something? I don't know. It's weird. That's the idea. I don't know. I can talk. I can talk to these other students. Are your friends doing well? No, oh, they keep attacking me. They're trying to keep, try to socialize with me. There's another mutilated student. Good, amazing. Hi. Uh, which part of the body do I talk first? I wonder. All of them, I guess. Try to say something. You can't. I'll get out of that. And try smiling again. Smile. No effect. They never do anything. It amazing. I guess I will just I will, I will just make them lose their social battery. Which I guess I, I guess social battery. I guess it means like like you know the amount of energy you use you know to socialize. I guess. <laughs> Which I, I I relate to on some level. You know, it's, it's said that introverts. Uh, Often do need to recharge their social battery, I guess. It takes energy to socialize. So normally you don't socialize with mutilated corpses, but you know. It's a metaphor. Anyway, oh, uh, oh, well, we're somewhere over here now. Okay. Save the game. Did you see that god imposter? Imposter! <laughs> Did you see that god imposter? I think he needs help. Oh yeah, the guy, uh, C or whatever. It's probably true though. He has the yellow eyes. I, you know, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious. He is being possessed by like a god or something. Or like maybe an executioner? Because last time we, we saw Charlotte with yellow eyes, it was like an executioner that possessed her. Hmm. Uh, nice dress, Wilshire. Thanks. The trial will be right all your wrongs. They will get help. Although you're already an angel. Okay. Canteen. Well, let's activate the warp point. Warp point activated! I did it. I can do fast travel now. Uh, how do I envy you? You always look so pretty. And we just don't have faces, I guess. That's just how it works. Where to... Or this is just directly back to class. That's interesting. Can I go left? No, can I go right? I actually don't want to walk too much because uh, I'll just get random battles. That's the canteen. What's over here? That's oh yeah, I already saw that. What's here? Changing room. I oh, can't go in there. I guess. I guess. Hmm. Third floor. First floor is back here. Well, what's this floor? Oh, access denied, okay. What's the third floor? What's over here? I'm curious. I support you in anything you do. Good luck. Can I take a photo of you? I want a frame by my bedside. That's a little weird, buddy. A lovely girl is talking to me on a lovely day. I'm so happy. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Charlotte, I guess, the is the uh, female protagonist, you know? In like every anime in the high school where they're just the most popular girl in school somehow and you know everyone likes her i guess mathematics mm -hmm. unconventional ways to use internal organs wow 
99 reasons you shouldn't leave home after school. Hmm. Wait. Oh, I was, I was, uh, that, that was, con that confused me for like a moment. Like, but don't you, aren't you in school after school? Then you're after school, you go, well, anyway. Anyway, I think it means more like after school as in you've already went home and it's nighttime. And the reason why you shouldn't go out is because there are monsters or something. I don't know, something like that. Anyway, how to peel an apple without hurting yourself. I see. Quantum, uh, quantum physics in pictures. It has a cat in a box. How, do I, how I became successful by procrastinating. You see, you start by being born rich. And then that's it, you win. Library catalog. Why you should say no to learning by heart. Hmm. Get a job by playing apps. Uh, I guess a game tester. You know, I have, I've looked that up. <laughs> you, you could be a game tester, I guess. We like test apps, but I imagine the only things you test though are like really, like really bad, like you know, not even fun games. You probably just play like really boring, like puzzle games forever. That doesn't sound very good, you know, as a job. Anyway, one reason you stay outside after school. Oh, okay, nine of reasons you should not leave home, but there's only one reason that you should stay outside. How to treat canteen food poisoning? Hmm. You start by not eating the food from the canteen. And also delicious warm soup recipes. Wow. Anything else? Because that's it. A lot of knowledge. And they do say knowledge is power. Also save the game. Uh, what is this? Well, this kind of looks like the roof, but we're not on the roof? I don't know. I don't know what that part is. Uh, WC, which means water closet. I was gonna say water closet, which I never knew for the longest time. Hello? It won't open. I sit on the floor in silence. Soon enough, the door opens. I can hear the footsteps of someone running away. Okay. <laughs> a bunch of people ambush me and lock me inside a washroom stall for no reason. Good. Well, the tap doesn't work. Oh, what? Greenish water, I guess. Uh, what happens if I beg for help? I, it'd be funny if you beg for help, you actually die. I actually want to see what happens if you do that. Maybe nothing happens. Beg for help. There must be some kind of misunderstanding, Seth. No one will purposely lock us in. Alright, so what happens if you... <laughs> stay here. For the countdown. No? Ah, oh, damn it! Ah, okay, I did that for no reason. I thought it was something unique would happen, but I guess not. Anyway, I'll just reload the save that I had. Over here. Alright. So I guess some people just pranked us, that's all. They just pranked us, that's mm, nothing special. I thought they, I, I thought we were gonna murder by like a toilet monster or something. I guess we're not at that part of the game yet. We did, we did die one that one time, didn't we? We got evaporated by the principal office security or something. What's over here? Hmm. Shapes. Good. That's fourth dimensional perception for you. Everyone's a pyramid. Oh. Let's not disturb anyone. It's a bit disturbing to think that I appear as a pyramid to these people. Okay. Let's not disturb anyone. It's a painting by a famous artist. I, this is the this is the fourth dimension. <laughs> is that how hmm. is that how it works? Comfort room to provide a better experience without any interruptions. Your body is perceived in fourth dimensional format in the comfort room. I see. Talk without worrying about appearances. Chill without being anxious about being looked at. I see. Everyone is just in the fourth dimension in that room. Also, yeah, okay, that is the roof. And this is the library. All right. What's this poster? Socialization is the key to see another day. Wow. Or right, whether you're talking to you, wish I was cute as you are. I, already, I think I talked to you people. Yeah, I already talked to you people. I already talked to you people. 